Hello and welcome back to the Blues Legacy. I'm your host, Liam J. Holland. Today, we're diving into an unexpected but fascinating journey, the influence of blues on punk music. Now, when you think of punk, you might conjure images of mohawks, electric guitars at breakneck speed, and an attitude that screams rebellion. But beneath this surface of energetic rebellion, there lies a surprising undercurrent that flows all the way back to the blues. In this episode, we'll peel back the layers of punk's raucous exterior to reveal its deep-rooted connection to the blues. We're going to explore how the raw emotion and simplicity of early 20th century blues paved the way for the punk movement of the 1970s. From the Mississippi Delta to the gritty streets of 1970s London and New York, the legacy of the blues has been instrumental in shaping the sound and spirit of punk music. So, strap in as we trace this incredible lineage and discover how the power of three chords and the truth in blues found a new expression in the punk rock era. As we turn back the pages of musical history to the early 20th century, we find ourselves in the heart of African-American communities in the southern United States. Here, amidst hardship and segregation, the blues was born, a genre deeply entrenched in African musical traditions, spirituals, and the struggles of everyday life. Blues music was not just a form of entertainment, it was a powerful medium for expressing the African-American experience. The blue notes, those bent, moody pitches, became a language of emotion, a way to express sorrow, joy, and resilience. The themes often revolved around life struggles, love, and a yearning for a better tomorrow. Fast forward to the 1940s and 50s. A seismic shift was happening in music. A new genre was emerging, one that would take the world by storm. Rock and roll. And at its heart were the rhythms and soul of the blues. Artists like Chuck Berry and Elvis Presley, who were heavily influenced by blues, began to shape this new exciting sound. Let's take a listen to Maybelline by Chuck Berry. This song is a perfect illustration of how blues elements were transitioning into the early rock and roll sound. Notice the rhythmic drive, the storytelling, and those unmistakable blues scales. As I was motivating over the hill, I saw Maybelline in a coupe bill. Cadillac rolling on an open road, nothing out to run my V8 pool. Cadillac doing about 95, we bumper to bumper rolling side to side. Maybelline, why can't you be true? Oh, Maybelline, why can't you be true? You done started back doing the thing you used to do. You can hear it, can't you? The energy, the rhythm. It's blues, but with a new electrifying twist. This was the sound that laid the groundwork for what was to come. A sound that would eventually evolve and rebel into punk music. So as we set the stage for punk's arrival, remember these roots. Remember the journey from the Delta to the world stage where the blues laid the foundation for a musical revolution. As the 1960s rolled in, rock music began to diversify, splintering into a kaleidoscope of subgenres. It was an era that saw the birth of hard rock, psychedelic rock, and later, heavy metal. But even as rock music branched out, the soul of blues continued to throb at its core. Consider bands like Led Zeppelin and the Rolling Stones. They weren't just rock bands, they were modern day troubadours of the blues. They took the essence of blues, its emotional depth and musical structures, and amplified it, quite literally, into the electrifying realm of hard rock. Now take Led Zeppelin's Whole Lotta Love, for instance. It's a quintessential hard rock anthem, but strip it down 
and you'll find the blues beating at its heart. Let's listen to it and feel the raw energy that's rooted in the blues tradition. You can hear it, right? The wailing vocals, the gritty guitar riffs. They're a nod to the blues legends who came before. This wasn't just music. It was a continuation of a story, a story that began with the blues. Baby, way down inside. Woman, you need love. Woman, you need love. You got to have some love. I'm gonna give you some love. I know you need love. Just got to have love. You got to have some love. Y'all make me feel so good. But it wasn't just about right. the music. The 60s and 70s were times of profound social and cultural change. And just like the blues, these rock subgenres became a canvas for artists to express dissent, rebellion, and a hunger for change. This era saw rock music evolving into a powerful vehicle for societal commentary, mirroring the themes of struggle, resilience, and defiance that were so intrinsic to the blues. From protest songs to anthems of freedom, the spirit of the blues was alive and kicking. So as we journey further into the evolution of rock, Remember that the roots of this diverse tree lie deep in the rich soil of the blues. It's a legacy that continues to shape the music we love and connect with. Now, as the 1970s marched on, a new sound burst onto the scene, shaking the very foundations of the rock world. It was raw, unapologetic, and fiercely independent. Yes, now we've reached punk music. Punk emerged as a powerful counterculture movement. It was a stark contrast to the polished, complex productions of mainstream rock. Punk stripped everything back to basics. It was the music of the people, made by the people. And although punk might seem worlds apart from blues, if you listen closely, you'll hear echoes of the same rebellious spirit the same raw emotion that fueled the blues pioneers. At its core, punk embraced simplicity in musical structure, raw energy in performance, and a DIY ethos that resonated with the blues tradition. Punk bands like the Ramones weren't just making music, they were making a statement. Let's dive into Blitzkrieg Bop by the Ramones. This song is a punk anthem, but beneath its rapid fire tempo and catchy chorus lies a traditional blues progression, the 1-4-5 chord sequence. Listen carefully. Did you catch that? The structure might be sped up, the energy dialed to 11, but the skeleton of the blues is unmistakable. It's the same three chords that blues artists have been playing for decades, just played in the punk style. Now, blues artists did not create the common 1-4-5 progression. It does actually echo way back further in musical history, but they played a key role in popularizing it. Punk music was more than just chords and mohawks. It was a continuation of a tradition, a tradition of challenging the status quo, of giving voice to the voiceless. Just like the blues, punk was about telling your truth no matter how raw or unfiltered. So, as we explore the high-energy world of punk, 
Let's not forget its humble roots in the blues. The spirit of rebellion, the fight against conformity, the raw expression of emotion. These are the threads that connect punk back to the blues. And speaking of rebellion, no discussion of punk would be complete without mentioning one of its most iconic and controversial bands. Let's take a moment to listen to the Sex Pistols. Their song, Anarchy in the UK, encapsulates the punk ethos. It's loud, it's brash, and it's unapologetically rebellious. The Sex Pistols took the world by storm with their aggressive style and in-your-face lyrics. But beneath the layer of punk rock bravado, you can still trace elements of the blues. Now, I'm not saying that any of these artists were sitting around listening to blues songs whilst they were writing the punk songs. That's not the case at all. The straightforward chord progressions, the emphasis on rhythm, and the focus on voicing societal discontent. These are hallmarks of the blues, repackaged and amplified for a new generation. Punk music, in many ways, was a modern manifestation of the blues spirit. It was another chapter in the ongoing narrative of music as a tool for social commentary and personal expression. So, as we explore the high-energy world of punk, let's not forget its humble roots in the blues, the spirit of rebellion, the fight against conformity, the raw expression of emotion. These are the threads that connect punk back to the blues. As we reach the end of our journey today, it's clear that the story of punk is more than just a tale of loud guitars and mosh pits. It's a narrative deeply intertwined with the history of blues. From the Mississippi Delta to the gritty streets of 1970s New York and London, the spirit of blues has been a constant companion, evolving yet remaining true to its roots, even if the artists at the time aren't aware of that connection. Blues and punk at first glance might seem like musical polar opposites, but as we've seen, they share more than meets the ear. Both genres speak to the human condition, to the struggles and the triumphs, the rebellions and the resolutions. They are the musical voices of those who dared to speak up, to express themselves raw and unfiltered. What we've discovered is that punk didn't just suddenly appear. It's part of a rich tapestry woven through the threads of blues. It's a testament to how music evolves, adapts, and yet retains a connection to its past. Punk, in all its raucous glory, still carries the heart of the blues within its chords and cries. As we continue to explore the vast landscape of music influenced by the blues, our next stop takes us to another genre born from the seeds of rebellion and raw expression. Next time, we'll dive into the world of grunge. We'll see how this genre, emerging from the underground scene of Seattle, was also deeply influenced by the soulful echoes of the blues. If you enjoyed today's episode, I'd be incredibly grateful if you could click subscribe for the podcast, leave a review even on whichever platform you like to enjoy your podcasts on, and you can always follow on social media. Just look for The Blues Legacy. Your feedback not only supports the show, but it also helps other music enthusiasts like yourself discover the rich tapestry of blues and its influence on modern music. For those who feel inspired by the series and wish to contribute further, please consider supporting The Blues Legacy on Patreon or Coffee. Your contributions play a crucial role in keeping the series alive and enabling me to delve deeper into the fascinating world of blues and its legacy. 
You can find all information on www.thebluslegacy.com. It's a new website, still kind of getting it set up, but you can find all the information right there. And remember, music is a journey that transcends time and genre. It connects us to our past, narrates our present, and inspires our future. The story of blues and its influence on genres like punk is a testament to this timeless journey. I'm Liam J. Holland, and it's been an absolute pleasure to have you with me today. Join me next time as we step into the gritty and emotive world of grunge, continuing our exploration of how the blues has shaped the music that we love today. Until then, keep those blues playing and keep exploring the sounds that shape our world. <laughs>